So now let's look at an example of how we can make use of completing the square to solve this expression. So the first step is to rewrite this into a perfect square. So I know that this is y minus something square. Right? So the, we want to find out what this is. So let me write it on the right hand side. y minus blank is equals to y square minus 2 blank y plus blank square. So if you remember, I mentioned that the most important term is here, this guy. Right, this corresponds to this. And we can see that 2 blank y corresponds to minus a y because this is the only term that will give you a y. So from here, we can infer that minus 2 blank is equals to minus a and therefore your blank is equals to a over 2. So we have found out what is the term inside your blank and we know that it is a over 2. So let's write it here. a over 2. Now the thing is that this is equals to y square minus 2 times y times a over 2 which will give us a y plus a square over 4. Now this is not exactly this. To get exactly this we will have to add the minus 6 and then we have to get rid of this term. So which is not too difficult. So if I were to write this here, y square minus a y minus 6, I can write it as y minus a over 2 square, but this is not this, right? I will have to minus a over 4, right? Minus away this term. So we are left with y square minus a y, and then I have to put the minus 6 here, which will give me this term. If you don't believe me, you can always work it out yourself, right? Open out this bracket and minus a to the power of 2 over 4 minus 6, you can see that you will get back this term. So now you have already successfully completed a square. This is equals to 0, so therefore this is this and it's also equals to 0. So we can proceed to solve the equation. So y minus a over 2 square is equals to a square over 4 plus 6. Right, we shift these two terms to the right hand side. Now we square root both sides. We will have a square over 4 plus 6. So from here, we can see that y is equals to plus minus square root a square over 4 plus 6 plus a over 2. So y is two values. One is when the square root takes positive and then the other answer is when the square root takes on the negative.